the Carrick Bend, also called Full Carrick Bend, Sailor's Knot, and Anchor Bend, is perhaps the nearest thing we have to a perfect bend. It is symmetrical, it is easy to tie, it does not slip easily in wet material, it is among the strongest of knots, it cannot jam, and is readily untied. To offset this array of excellencies is the sole objection that it is somewhat bulky. So states Clifford Ashley in his superlative text on the tying of knots, the Ashley Book of Knots. The Carrick Bend is certainly deserving of Ashley's praise, and in just a few moments I will show you how to tie this marvelous bend, but before I do, let me explain what a bend actually is. A bend is any knot used to join together two pieces of rope or line. And that's it. There are many different types of bend, but they all serve this same basic purpose. Now, before we proceed to the Carrick Bend, a word of caution. It is too often the case that a lazy or simply misinformed sailor will use a reef or square knot, that is, your simple right over left, left over right knot, as a bend. This should be avoided under almost all circumstances, as a reef knot is actually not a bend at all, but rather a binding knot, and if used incorrectly, it can capsize with disastrous results. Friend Ashley has this to say. Employed as a bend, the reef knot is probably responsible for more deaths and injuries than have been caused by the failure of all other knots combined. A sobering thought. Fortunately, the Carrick Bend has no such deadly shortcomings. We generally use it for joining together lines that are especially large or stiff, but it is also very pretty and can easily be used as a bit of decorative knotwork. Today, I will be referring to Richard Henry Dana Jr.'s The Seaman's Friend for instructions. So without further delay, here is how to tie a Carrick Bend. Form a bite by putting the end of a rope over its standing part. Take the end of a second rope and pass it under the standing part of the first, over the end, up through the bite, over its own standing part, and down through the bite again. Now, Richard Henry Dana Jr. was certainly a very skillful sailor, and his method is entirely correct. It is also, however, unnecessarily complicated. Here is a slightly easier method. This time, when we make our first bite, instead of placing the bitter end over the standing end, we will instead put it underneath. Then we take our second line and line it up so that the bite is over top of it. Then it becomes a simple matter of just weaving over, under, over, under, and over once again. And we have our Carrick Bend. Pull tight, and it capsizes into a very secure bend indeed. If you want to use the knot in more of a decorative setting, you can always simply double your line, which results in a very attractive Carrick Bend.